Okay, welcome back to the Tower of Pain, also known as the Lighthouse. The, uh, the hallowed, ominous obelisk which took my smiley face away from me in both the literal and metaphorical sense. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come clean, I'm gonna lay the cards on the table, give you a little peeky behind the curtain. Uh, I actually tried to record this video yesterday, I got about 20 minutes in and uh, realized I'd never hit the record button. So I had to scrap all the progress I'd made and we're picking up again from there now. So uh, yeah, this is this is basically, we, we, we were right here, we were right at the end. We do have a bunch more trainers to come back and beat, which we will do. Uh, but first we need to uh, do a couple of the other bits and pieces, I think. I think there's a few other things on the agenda first. First and most notably, we need to put smile, smiley face, happy, happy dead crab, the smiliest dead crab of them all, uh, into the graveyard where she belongs. And then we're going to go and catch ourselves a replacement water type. And uh, I've, I, uh, I came across this startling realization that, hey, I have a, I have a good rod. And uh, there's like three towns there's three towns where obviously I haven't caught a Pokemon because they're towns, but they all have water sources in them, which means I can, in fact, catch Pokemon there with my good rod. So, um, you know, obviously it sucks. It sucks that Smiley, the Smiley, Smiley boy, McGee over here, um, fell so young. But uh, we can find a suitable replacement, I think. Not... Hmm, replacement's the wrong term. That, sound, that sounds harsh. No one could ever truly replace Smile in uh, in my eyes and in my heart, but, you know, we, we, can find, uh, we can find another water type to fill the void, so to speak, so... That is the plan! And I think it's a good one. I think it's a good plan. And I know it's a good one, because as I say, we've, we've, we've been here before. If it wasn't for continuity, I, I probably would have just picked up from recording when I realised that I hadn't been recording. But I, I do just sort of... I, I like my, my videos to make sense. I like them to flow, you know. And even if it's, I could have quite easily caught you all up on what I've been doing, I, 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 didn't, wanna, I didn't want my videos to be like that. I, I wouldn't be, I've been happy with that. I'm not really much of a perfectionist, as you can tell with this channel. But... Uh, now, that's one thing that I, I sort of like to keep. There's also a water source in here. I didn't actually fish for one in here last time. But uh, my first port of call is absolutely going to be going home. I was about to call it Pallet Town. I actually cannot remember the name of the, the starting town. But the reason for that is because I'm pretty certain. And I didn't, I didn't actually... Shit, I was meant to check whether I caught anything in this field or not. I don't think I did, did I? I'm gonna catch this Stantler. I'm gonna catch this Stantler, and if it turns out that I was I was wrong the whole time, and I have already caught something in this field, which I really don't think I have, then uh, then fair enough. I, I say I know I've not caught anything in this field. That's the wrong thing to say. If I've encountered something in this field before and run away from it, then. Uh, that's also illegal. It'll also be illegal what I'm about to do, but uh, I, w I will I will endeavour to double check that before the next recording, and if so, I will release this Stantler. Won't even go in the graveyard. It will be immediately re fucking hell, dude, dude, Stantler, dude, dude. More like Dasher, Dancer, Prancer, and Prickson, because you're a prick. We know what we're calling this, don't we? <laughs> wow, fuck, maybe we're not calling it anything. Maybe we're just not going to catch it. That's a very real possibility right now. I could I could hurl the Ultra Ball at it. I've been keeping the Ultra Ball in reserve, but... I don't think I'm going to catch this with anything else. We're not even getting close. Why is Stantla such a monster? Okay, there we go. There we go. I'm not even going to add it to my team. That's the beautiful thing. This is Prickson. He's a prick. 
He? She? I don't know. Doesn't matter. Gender is irrelevant. It's 2021. Yeah, he. Okay. Fucking prick, son. Gone. Okay, um... Yeah, as I say, if, if I find out... I, I don't know why I'm just repeating myself again, but if I do find out that, uh, whoops, already caught, already fought something here, missed my opportunity, then, uh, that's on me, and, uh, whoops, I guess. Stantler's actually pretty cool, because he's got Intimidate. And I like anything with Intimidate, because it's a really good ability. Also, Hypnosis is a thing. It's a thing, I mean, this guy right here is proving how inaccurate that ability is, but it is a thing. I don't, I've, I've honestly never leveled a Stantler. I've never had any reason to. You know, I, I did uh, the full Pokédex back in the day on a gold and silver game, Hundred, you know, 100% Pokédex. Aside from Celebi, because I couldn't get one because of reasons. <laughs> Didn't live in Japan enough or whatever the fucking thing you had to do to get a Celebi was. Uh, but uh, obviously it doesn't evolve so there's no reason to like level one up or anything so while I've like leveled pretty much every other Pokemon at some point I'd, I've never actually engaged with a Stantler so I'm actually kind of hoping morbid as this is kind of hoping that I lose like enough Pokemon throughout this playthrough that I will be encouraged to level the Stantler just so I can like use one for once, you know? I don't think I don't think anyone likes Stantler. Is that fair to say? Or maybe not that no one likes it, but no one no one's like, oh yeah my favourite Pokemon is Stantler. No one's even like my top twenty Pokemon includes Stantler, right? He's always just sort of been there. He's always just sort of existed. We've already got a normal type. We've got Nugget. It will never evolve because I don't know how stones work. Well, speaking of stones, actually, I've uh, I've probably got some stuff from Mother again, haven't I? Probably check to see if she's deposited a a moonstone in my vicinity recently. Let us find out. I feel like about 20 minutes ago, or not quite that long ago, because I've certainly not been recording that long. Uh, I was explaining why I was going back to the starting town, and I don't think I ever actually finished what I was saying. Have you got anything else for me? Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, I want a Chincho. And I believe I can I can fish those motherfuckers up in the, in the starting town, if I'm not completely wrong. And they're really cool because they're water electric types, so that my sort of very monotype team my lack of oh silk scarf very nice my lack of variety in my team will be massively increased will be massively remedied by getting a chincho so i'm gonna chance my arm again last time uh, when i was trying this i fished up a tentacle which is a poison type to add to all my poison types so i was less than impressed with that but you know i'm gonna i'm gonna take another roll of the dice another spin of the wheel another metaphor of some sort. Oh, I can cut through here. Literally. Like it's a cut through. But I cut to get through it. That's crazy. That's insane. That's insane what I just said. Those words that I just came out with. They make no sense. That's wacky doo doo. No, no more? Okay. We'll just have a random battle instead, that's fine. Beat up a Sentra or something. Oh, no, it's a Pidgey. Uh, so many Pidgeys have fought and died on my side. So many Pidgeys have been sent to their death because of me. What's one more? What's one more for the conscience? Right, please. Please give me something. Give me something I can work with here. Please don't be a Magikarp is mostly what I'm saying here. 
Chincho in, in, in particular would be... Is it Chincho? Chinchu? Chin... Chinchiao? Shelder! Alright! Okay, yeah! Yeah, okay! Alright! Yeah, I'm down with this. I'm down with Shelder. I'm pretty cool with Shelder. Fuck, it's a tanky motherfucker as well. It's a Shelder, what am I talking about? Double kick will be super effective because it's an ice type, right? I don't want to kill it outright, but I don't think I will because it's level 20 and has really high defense. Also, it used protect. I hope I've got enough balls to catch this. I just wasted a load on a Stantler. I guess we'll find out, won't we? I was literally just in a Pokemon as well. What am I doing? Yeah, that's, that's nothing. Is it not? Is it not ice until it evolves then? Because ice is definitely weak to fighting, right? I didn't imagine that. Hmm. Weird. Weird and strange. We'll give it another another quick double kick in. That's probably enough. That's probably good. I didn't even know you could get shoulders in this game. I don't remember seeing shoulders in, in, in Gen 2, like, at all. But I'm glad I did. I like shoulder. It's cool. I like a good wall Pokemon. Oh. Oh. Shit. We'll try that again, but I'm fast running out of balls here. Okay, we need to weaken it a bit more. Try and get it into red HP. Bite did nothing to it, right? We can safely bite it. Right. Right. Five hits. To be fair, I think, isn't Shoulder one of the Pokemon that get the ability that means they always hit five times with multiple hit moves? Please don't kill it. Ooh, thank god. I, I clenched up for a moment there. My stomach did a somersault. It looked like it was going to go down a lot more than it did. Please. 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 Hey. Hey. Happy with this. Happy with I thought I would just get another tentacle, honestly, so... Yeah, it's just water. I was certain they were water, water ice. Cloister definitely is, right? Uh, I'm gonna call this fella in recognition of how fucking tanky he is. How much he just stalled out my uh, my Jennifer. I'm gonna call him the Wall, like the one from from Pink Floyd. Joe, I heard you defeated Whitney. Oh yeah, thanks, Erwin. See? See, this guy's good. This guy's good. A lot of these people, they'll ring up and they'll just talk some pointless shit. But this guy at least is, like, asking about me, you know? He's not just like, oh, well, I saw a ratata the other day, but it got away. Anyway, fuck off. He's like, look, look, he's taking an interest in what I've been doing. And I like that. Good job, Erwin. It makes me proud to be your friend. Call you later. Yeah! I'm proud to be I can't remember who you are, Erwin, honestly. I have no clue who you are. But I'm proud to be your friend as well, because you, you are genuinely the nicest dude in uh, all of Pokemon. No overstatement. Right. We got the wall now. Bitch is going to be facing the wall. Bitch is going to be up against the wall. Oh, he's got an item. What's your item, wall? It's just a pearl, because he's a clam. I guess that makes sense. Special defense down, speed up. That's probably not the best nature you could have, but I'll accept it. I'll accept it. He's a physical wall, after all. He's not a special wall. I don't even think if he had sort of normal special defense stats, he would have particularly good special defense, so it's probably not anything to be too concerned about. Protect an icicle spear. Yes, skill link. Skill link. I just noticed I, I completely blanked what his ability was. Skill link is very cool. It means Icicle Spear will always hit five times for only 50 damage, admittedly, but I think there are other moves you can get that are better than that. 
Like a spike cannon. Spike cannon's a good one, right? It's like 25 damage per hit or something. If I, like, have the wall follow me, does it just, like... I'll take that pearl, thanks. Does he just, like, hop along? I'm quite intrigued by how this looks. Hey, look at him go! He seems happy. It wants to lead? <laughs> wow, okay. Not content to be a follower, are you, bud? Piget? I think you can take that wall. I think you can beat that. Let's see. It takes two hits. Wow, that is a garbage move, isn't it? That is a garbage move. It's his only physical attacking, well, his only attacking move at the moment. Protect Lear Supersonic and, and that. God, it's going to take some grinding. He's practically a shuckle at the moment. I have faith, though. I have faith. I'm a little bit concerned. I don't remember specifically, but I'm a little bit concerned that he's another one who evolves with a water stone. <laughs> I just suddenly thought of that. Let's just hope not, eh? Because we're having a, a severe sort of... A severe... Stone lack around these parts. I might just have to Google at this rate how to get him. I probably should have done that. It's another one of those things that I keep... You know you know when I'm between videos and I'm like, oh yeah, I should be doing all this stuff for my, my Pokemon Let's Play that I've said I'd do. Like, check if I've caught a Pokemon in that one field yet. Or, uh... Uh... I don't know. Other stuff, probably. And yet I don't. Because I am who I am. And you can't change me. I revel in my laziness. I don't know why I'm picking this one particularly. I just I just kind of wanted it. I just kind of wanted the black apricorn. I thought it would be helpful. Right, so now that we've got another water type on the team, now that we've got something, <laughs> something that might be useful, um, we need to go back to grinding, unfortunately. That's the next thing on the agenda. Still had a few more trainers to, to fight in the lighthouse, so I guess we'll return there. Cool. I'm glad you're selling bikes. I don't really care. Yeah, back to the lighthouse. Sorry, my train of thought just completely died when that dude rang me up to tell me how good his bikes are selling. I mean, I know, it makes sense, like, I, I'm riding the bike and I'm advertising it for him or whatever, so he wanted to let me know that I've done a good job in that. Cool, great, but how does it actually affect me on a day-to-day -day basis, you know? I'd rather you were like, Irwin? What's his name, Irwin? I've already forgotten. And just rang me up to tell me how cool I am. Just stroke my ego a bit. That's all that really matters to me. Okay. Back in we go. Now the annoying thing is, we now have... Fuck, didn't mean to do that. I don't want to go up to the light room, I want to go back down. Could I have done this the whole time? Oh, she was like locked in though, wasn't she? So I probably could have... Probably could have come all the way up and then just had to go all the way back down again. Oh well, I guess we'll... Fight some trainers up here while we're here then. But yeah, the annoying thing is there was a bunch of bird trainers. There was a bunch of, of bird people up here. Which would have been really good grinding for, for the wall. But... I think I beat them all. And now we just have like match-ops and shit. And we can take a match-op. Supersonic it. Oh no. Oh no. 
Okay, let's not take any chances. Let's not take any chances. We've only just lost uh, a potential water type team member. Let's not lose another one by being a stupid prick. <laughs> nice crit, nerd. Hooray! Hurrah! Huzzay and huzzah! Holly Whirl! I'm just gonna have to do the old swap in, swap out, I think. For a while. I think Smiley Face had a better chance of solo in this sort of shit than, than the wall does. The wall's got nothing. Uh, Jennifer, you can fight this one. This is a Jennifer fight. I don't know why. It just feels like a Jennifer fight to me. Oh yeah, Polywills are absolute assholes. I remember now. Had an encounter with one of them last time, didn't we? It was just being a dick for the entire fight. Spam spamming me to sleep and then slapping me around the face. Be poisoned. Or just slap me around the face. We've established that this is something you like to do. Because you're a sassy bitch. <laughs> Please stop moistening my monster. My rabbit? I, d I don't know. I don't know. It's got rabbit ears. I don't really know what the rest of its physicality is all about, but... I like it. I like Nidorina. She's cool. I'm putting way too much uh, focus into trying to poison this motherfucker, but... I feel like without any super effective moves, that's usually going to be the best bet, but it's, it's just not getting me anywhere, so I guess I'll just bite it now. Seriously though, Polywills. Seriously. What is their deal? Who made them this way? Who mistreated them as a child? <laughs> made them become what they are today? Because they're just all assholes. All of them. Might call that racist. Might call that a, a gross generalization, but I don't care. Polywills fucking suck, and I won't hear anything else. Yeah, you focus your energy, buddy. That'll save you. We all know what a good karate chop crit will do to me. Damn, you almost had me there. Well played, well played. I am overwhelming, you're right. Both in uh, Pokemon prowess and beauty. What have you got for me? A super repel. Cool. Thanks, I guess. Can I go through here? No. Kinda hard to tell. After going through that one window. Oh, you're not a trainer, you're a photographer. Sure, take my photo. Shame I didn't get an in memoriam one with smiley face, but... I suppose any one of these photos could be... In I like how Nugget was just completely invisible in that picture. Any one of these pictures could eventually, essentially, eventually, essentially, eventually be an in memoriam picture. Any one of them. You never know, do you? What have you got? What's your hidden item? Jasmine won't even smile. Maybe that's because the smile in this world is dead. The smile has been murdered. Oh, there's, there's something similar. I stand corrected, I guess. Uh, I'm just gonna keep killing shit with Geodude, I think. 
think Jennifer needs to evolve or get some stronger moves or something. Mostly the moves, I think. Her moveset's just... just really bad at the moment. They're just all, like, really low-tier moves, and her only super effective one is Poison Sting. She needs, uh, she needs some access to some stronger shit, I think. Which she'll definitely get if she evolves. But that requires a Moonstone! And obviously we can't send out Viagra against a water type, that's just suicide, so... It's all about Geodude at the moment. Geodude is being my boy, as he has been for the longest time out of anyone here. Remember, remember back, back in, what, the second episode, probably? When we found Geodude in a cave and we're like, Oh, Zubat! Fucking garbage! I want a Geodude! And we mockingly, we mockingly named him Geodude. And now look where we are. We're being fucking carried by him. I was going to say he bailed us out against Bugsy, but that was actually mostly Big Bird who did that. But the point is, the point is Geodude has been a constant companion. A source of victory and happiness for me ever since he joined the team. And I regret treating him so badly back in those early days. What have you got? God. These items, they're fucking spectacular, aren't they? Can I really just not go back in then? It's a really weird decision, that, I think. To make this one way. I'm not really sure why they did that. Oh well. well. I can climb up that ladder from the back. I really didn't think that would work. I thought I'd just experiment, but there you go. Good on you, Pokemon. What a good game you are. So I love the idea of an elevator that just doesn't stop on any of the middle floors. <laughs> I think that I think that's that's kind of funny. I think that's kind of kind of kind of chuckle worthy. If you have a disability and you want to get to one of the the middle floors of this tower, then. Uh, Fuck you, I guess. <laughs> but then, to be fair, to be fair, my my clam, my pet clam, is able to climb a ladder. So I think anyone can in the in the Pokemon universe, based off that. Do, 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 do. Have have bird Pokemon, please. Have a Pidgey. Oh, that's, that's, that's a water type. Why is everyone just water types around here? So lame. Get some variety, nerds. Don't see me having a, an all single type team. <laughs> Don't see me doing that. Moistening my bat. That can be a euphemism if you want it to be. A euphemism, even. Not a euphemism. That sounds too much like euthanasia. <laughs> That's an entirely separate thing. <laughs> right, lighthouse officially clear. What's the final item? Some more garbage, probably, huh? Hmm. Huh. All right. All right. Swagger ain't bad. Swagger ain't bad. I was always really, I never really understood Swagger. Like, back in the day, when I was a wee child playing the game. Because I was always like, well, Confuse Ray is just better, right? Which is true. Confuse Ray always confuses an opponent. Swagger, I believe, is... It's either 100% accuracy or near enough. But, um... It also raises your opponent's attack stat. And I was like, well, why? Why does this exist? It's, like... A dumb thing to have. But... Like, so few Pokemon learn Confuse Ray, and nearly everything can learn Swagger. So it, it, it's nice to have, like, confusion options on Pokemon that wouldn't normally have confusion options, for one thing. And also, like, raising your opponent's attack stat, 
might seem dumb, but then there's moves like Psych Up and uh, that one that lets you swap uh, stat gains with an opponent and stuff. Like there's 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 things you can do with that. There's meta game options around that. So yeah, fair play to Swagger. I'm not going to teach it to anyone. I'm just saying it's not it's not as bad as I once thought it was. <laughs> How's that for a compliment? <laughs> Uh, right. So if we've got the wall now, then Nugget... Nugget could be something else. Nugget could be an Umbreon. So we have a Dark type to deal with the scary, scary Psychic types that would bully Geodude and Jennifer. In which case... Do you still have the... You do still have the Soothe Bell. You have a Soothe Bell. You take the Soothe Bell off my hands. Uh, hang on, need to get to the right pocket, that would help. Where does it live? Is it in here? Yeah, okay, the first pocket is just fucking everything, I guess. Should probably go give him a haircut as well. Seems like we're just dilly-dallying at this point. We're just wasting time when we, when we should be making progress with this here video game. But, you know what? What's the rush? What's the rush? I want an Umbreon now. I'm dedicated to my, my spur-of-the-moment Umbreon decision. Uh-oh. It's so powerful, but I'm more powerful. I believe in the wall. This is the wall's time to shine. Watch this. That's not going to be a three hit kill, that's going to be a four hit kill. Oh well. It's going to be a lot more than four turns now, though, isn't it? It's going to be a lot more than four turns. Oh, garbage. Absolute garbage. Why is hypnosis legal? Oh, shit. You know what? Let's, uh... Let's let someone else deal with this. <laughs> let's let someone else clear, clear up this little Stantler mess, shall we? I don't know why... I'm pretty certain... Can you stop being a prick, please? Just for like a second. But I'm pretty certain the only thing I've run into in this field now has been Stantlers. Like, three or four of them at this point. Well, I I'm sure there are other things in this field. In fact, I'm pretty certain Stantler are quite rare. So, what's causing all the Stantler? What's the deal with all the Stantler? See, the other option is Espeon. Just so that I can then have a horrible, scary psychic type of my own. And let's face it, a psychic type is going to resist attacks from another psychic type, right? So if I can get, like, Bite or something on it, then it will actually be an anti-psychic weapon in itself. Not that I think uh, Espeon would be especially good with Bite, because it's a special sweeper, but... Uh... Uh, <laughs> Non-committal noises. I think what we're what we're gonna do is we're just gonna try and give give Nugget regular haircuts. Keep the soothe bell on him. You know, do our best just to keep him happy. And then a bit from now, assuming we haven't completely game overed by that point, we'll just level him up and see what he evolves into. See what happens. Uh, where's the haircut, man? You? Yes, you. The older and better. Good, good. That's what I. That's what I want. That's what I want to see. I want to see a professional haircutsman. Uh, nugget, please. Yay! Nugget looks happy, but probably still not happy enough to evolve. I would wager. 
I'm not sure if the Soothe Bell... I can't remember how the Soothe Bell works. I don't know if it just, like, makes them steadily occasionally gain happiness, or if it increases, like, any happiness gains you get. It makes them greater, you know what I mean? Because if it's the latter, then it's not really going to be doing that much, because I won't be participating in battles with Nugget, so... Won't be gaining happiness the regular way. It's it's confusing. It's confusing. We'll just not worry about it for now, though. We have enough other Pokemon that need to be power grinded, so... Let's get to it. Ugh. I'm trying to think what else we still need to do. We need to do the Burnt Tower. And I think there's a rival battle in there as well. Oh, we get to catch a Pokemon in there, though. Might get, like, a Ghastly or something. That could be fun. Or a Magmar. Some pretty good options, honestly. Some pretty good options in that tower. Probably should have gone in there earlier, in all, in all seriousness. In all practicality. Give us a nice, well-rounded team, that. Have most of our bases covered, sort of, kinda. Slightly. Sort of. A little bit. Uh, Mart. Mart. Oh yeah, we gotta fight the uh, Kimono girls as well. We'll do the Burnt Tower first, I think that's easier. I just, I just want regular Pokeballs, honestly. I don't think we need good balls yet. There we go, that's what I was trying to do. I'll just buy 10 regular Pokeballs occasionally. Get my free Premier Ball. That's all I really need, isn't it? That's all any of us need, deep down. is a nice collection of balls. Okay, Burnt Tower. There's a coughing there. <laughs> I saw it. I saw it hanging out. Doing its coughing thing. Can't go that way. I can see some some interesting dogs down there. <laughs> Hello, Usain. You're on the trail of Suicune. Well, I can I can point him out to you f from right here. We can see him. Just look 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 down. Just look. Whatever. You heard rumours that Suicune is here. Oh, okay. No, he has. See he actually he has actually seen him. Okay. Can I come past? Thanks. You're the gym leader. You're Morty from Rick and Morty. He grows up to become a gym leader. You're not gonna... You're not gonna go anywhere until I beat my rival, are you? That's fine. Raticate! Raticate! That's not what I was looking for here. We all know that wasn't what I was looking for here. Oh, this motherfucker's got pursuit. This is a this is a deadly weapon right here. We don't fuck with anything with pursuit. Focus energy and pursuit. He's he's really determined to end one of my Pokemon. This guy. He's got all of the moves that can just dick over a Nuzlocke. All of them. That's as low as we can get him. Another Icicle Spear will kill him. So, uh... Let's just see if this works. Aw, oh, come on now. Come on now. Almost had it. It's alright. It's alright. The wall's proving to be a good wall. It's putting up an admiral defense against this giant rat. How big is Rat okay, actually? It's actually hard to know. I don't really look at the Pokédex. Uh, that would answer my question immediately, but is it like a human-sized rat, or is it just like up to your knee? Like what? Oh, it's two foot four. Okay, so it's it's not it's not that huge, really. Unfortunately, though, there is only one 
there is only one name you can give a, a chubby, oversized rodent in the modern meme era. And I'm not happy about it, and I don't expect you to be happy about it either, but it's the law at this point. Uh, it's actually not going to fit. I, I can't call it Big Chungus, so it's just Big Chunk. <laughs> Say hello to Big Chung. <laughs> Oh god, okay, whatever. Let's go fight our rival. God! Like I turned on a dime. Like I could smell my presence. <laughs> like something out of a horror film. Head spun 180 degrees on his neck and stared me dead in the eyes. Alright, pressure booby. <laughs> what you got for me? Ghastly. Hmm. You know what? This might be a unnecessary gamble. Oh fuck me look. Oh that's real bad. That's real bad. Fuck no. It was an unnecessary gamble. It was an unnecessary gamble the whole time. I was right. I was accurate. What I wanted to do was I wanted to encourage it to use curse on the wall and then I'd swap out. So it would just lose half its health and not achieve anything. That was the plan. But now it's mean looked me. If it if it uses curse, it will nearly kill itself and I'll knock it out with Icicle Spear and then the mean look will go and I'll be able to leave. Wait. I wasn't expecting that. That was a real fucking plot twist. Okay. Alright. Does... That means I'm free to switch, right? Thank fuck. Okay. <laughs> For a moment, I was, I, despite everything I know about this game, despite my countless hours of playing it, I had a moment just then where I was like, does Mean Lock, Look just lock you into battle forever? <laughs> is, it, is it just going to be Shoulder versus every other Pokemon for the rest of this game? <laughs> is switching just illegal for the rest of existence? Quillava. Okay. That's fine. I'll fight your Quillava. Seems like an odd choice to switch into, uh, I suppose, technically not a ground type yet. I like the attempt at fucking me over there with the smoke screen. That's probably what I would have done too, honestly. That probably would have been my move against a Pokemon that I know has a super effective miss. Stop! If I miss again, of course I miss again and get smoke screened a third time. I've said it before, I'll say it again. This game fucking cheats. 100% this game cheats. There's, there's no two ways about it. They lower your accuracy once and you never hit another move. Stop! Stop doing that! Why are you such a cock? Why are you so unfathomably awful? There we go. There we go, we got a move through. Fucking finally. Nearly one shot the prick as well. Right, finish him off. Fight through the smoke screen. He can't do shit to you. He can't do shit to you except lower your accuracy. Eventually you're gonna hit a move and he's not. Eventually, eventually, you're gonna blindly stumble into kicking this fucker. Kicking this stupid fucking burning rat right in the dick. There we go. You got him good, Viagra. You got him real good. I'm proud of you. Zubat. You know, I want to give this one to the wall. 
I think the wall can take down a Zubat. He deserves a win. He's not been allowed one yet. Uh oh. <laughs> Please don't. Hey, thank fuck. Still gonna take two of these. Despite being super effective. In fact, the Zubat seems to be taking it better than the fucking Ghastly did. Oh, not quite, but nearly as well as the Ghastly did. Oh, that was more damage than I was hoping for. I snapped out confusion immediately, though, so can't complain too hard, I suppose. Hooray! And with my new level up, should be strong enough, hopefully, to beat the Ghastly too. Yeah, I'm gambling. I understand. I understand this is a gamble. An unnecessary gamble when any of my other Pokemon could have beaten this Ghastly quite comfortably. That's what I was looking for. Right there. Right there. Fucking idiot. <laughs> Could have like nightshaded me for 20 damage. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, you cock? Call me a weakling all you like, but my unleveled, untested fucking clam just killed two of your Pokemon. Yeah, leave. Leave you stupid ginger bastard. It's not even ginger, it's just it's just red. It's just pure red. It's not fair to call him a ginger. But he's got he has literal red hair. I don't know how that happens. Die, probably. Probably die. It's never really addressed in anime though, is it? When characters have like ridiculous coloured hair. You never actually see them die it, they just seem to naturally have like bright blue hair or whatever and pink eyes. It's just something we just have to accept. Speaking of things we have to accept, unfortunately you are now going to have to accept that this video is over. Um, I will see you guys for the next one. We might take on a gym leader next time, I don't know, it depends how uh, how far we get with this whole burnt tower and kimono girls and whatever else I've got to do. Uh, but I'm baiting the hook. All you have to do is, is bite it. And I'll see you next time for that.